Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rocket Review. Today I'm doing another Rocket Review on Barry Nitro. Um, I did a, my first one on him, I believe. My good friend, we were playing some Tuesday Night in Diamond 3. And he had gone, he was away for a week, and so he was a bit rusty and everything, and he wanted me to... Because when you're rusty, right, that's when you're most likely to... The things you aren't as great at, that's when you're most likely to mess up, mess up at those. So he wanted me to look at the replay again, and I was glad to, so let's see how it goes. This one was... A close loss we had, or a close victory. I'm pretty sure we lost, but anyways, it was close. And we were both a bit rusty, because he was gone for a week, and while he was gone, I didn't play any doubles. So let's see how it goes. Nice backflip there. When you come around right here, you come on, so like you're pushing the ball with the, your right corner of your car. So you're going to be sending it back towards our goal. Um, what you could have done was if instead, um, right here, get on the right side of the ball and take it infield because I'd be there for the pass. But instead this kind of just wastes boost and gives them position right back, but I'm going to assume that was rest again. Um, this is a very awkward spot you're in, because right, right? Here, when you see him up for this, you're not in goal to save it if he gets on target. And you're not going to be up the wall enough to get there if he hits it against the wall. So what you should be is either up on the wall by now, like facing the goal, or on the goal line ready to save it. Nice block there. Um, this is just like a very, very tiny, small decision that could cost you goals in the long run. Because right here, you only have 12 boost. But you see Hint of Banana in your screen, he's going to get there first. And so, that's kind of like 12 boost that, um, you know, he was going to get there before you. If you just conserve the 12 boost, you could have had summon for the next attack. Uh, this is just, you know, an awkward misread. Yeah, you, you had time to react to that, that's just a bit of a misread. I like right here that you're coming to pressure this guy because he knows he can't take time to set up a dribble because you're coming because you knew I was in goal so I, you know I had a handle if you put on target that was going to be your pressure in there. I like that you're coming up the wall like this but that was, that's a rough read because you never really know where they're going to go but. Top level fakes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I watching me or you? Okay, yeah, I am watching you. We had similar cards and I was like, who is this? Nice, I'm glad you went over for that because you knew you could beat him, that was good. The touch was a bit hard off the ball. If you got a softer touch maybe. Or like, if you didn't flip into this here, I think it would have gone softer up the line, making him have a harder touch. And yeah, you could have had that. Right here. Um, you know I'm gonna be there, but so you could you could start. Oops, what did I just do? Okay, cool. Right there, you knew I was gonna be there, so you could have um, turned around a bit sooner. Like right now, you could be turning around towards that pass. That's a rough recovery. You got plopped on like two people. Just an inch too fast for me. Right here, you start cutting back to your right, or like towards their far post almost. Even though it's not very likely that he's going to hit it to where you are with the way his car's facing. And see so like right there, that was, um, you shouldn't be facing the way you are now. He could have continued going counterclockwise with your car, 
um, like towards the mid boost on the, your right side right now, and you would be there to get the ball sooner. Because, yeah, that ball probably wasn't going to go towards mid where you were getting ready to position yourself. That was a bad double commit. I'm pretty sure you probably called it off, but I took it anyways. That's my bad. But that was a good rebuy. You know where he was going to put that. Nice hit. That's a very dangerous situation here, because with the way the ball bounces, he's much closer to the ball, and you don't have much boost, so it's going to be harder for you to get back in the play. And you probably could have picked up that boost pet too, but I, you, I think you probably assumed that guy to get it. And yeah, right there you missed a bet, boost better too, but you're fine. Nice of you to like fake challenge there, you know who was going to get there first. You could have challenged that. Even if, um... He beat you, it was going to be very close because he just picked up the 100 boost pad, he was kind of far away. You could have probably gotten there before he was able to chip it over you. Right here is another spot where it would have been good to make a run. Because you see I'm there for mid. And if he cut down left line, I could have passed it up to you up the wall or something. He's in block. Don't go for that, yeah that's... Right now, you um, I have a much better angle on this than you do, and you're out of boost. So um, right here, you should be going far post rotation to the boost lanes, like far, like so you can go far post. Nice pass down to me. You know, I had boost and I had a better plan than you did. That's good. <laughs> that was the guy. Nice little weird double tap thing from there. Nice pass, that was my bad. Alright, right here you should be getting back into the play faster. You get the 100 boost. Right now you should be boosting and flipping um, into that boost lane to get back to goal faster just in case something goes awry. Like that. <laughs> Whoops. I, I, I remember talking about that. I was like, oh man, I, hold, I held my second flip for too long. Yeah, just another mystery. Those are weird ones though. That's like just one you could, um. If you practice those a bit more, you know what to do. Not that you don't, but like, you know, you're resting stuff. This one? After you hit that, if you kept boosting like more straight towards the ball, you could have gotten there and blocked. Like you tilted your car off to the right, like right there. If you kept going straight though, instead you could have gotten the block on that. But it's not the end of the world, I don't think. Pass. Go up. <laughs> That was decent. If that was if that ball was like an inch lower, you could probably could have gotten a lot of power on that. That was decent though. Nice hit. That was good. I was hoping you do this. Right when you come to this, you turn so you hit it right with the corner of your car into the midfield. That was a really good clear. I like your pressing there. You don't have a lot of boost, but um, you made him force out of bad touch. Right, right after he pops it up though. I think you should have ditched the play because you didn't really have enough to make a play, um, like a super good play at least, you only had 16 boost. You could have gotten back to that mid boost sooner because I was worried that you were going to go for it and so I didn't want to double commit. 
but that was a good pressure by you. It's another just, you know, car control and stuff. Very dangerous, but all right. Well, that's the end of that game. Um. I'm gonna go into a nice game just because I want to review a little bit more. I'm kind of into it right now. <laughs> so, yeah, this one's from two days later. Um, a 4 0 victory. I remember playing this. I um, I was all happy because I scored a few really weird goals, like ones where I got bumped and I recovered into it. It just felt nice. But yeah, let's get into it. This one's a club match. Yeah, I, if I were you, I see that you're struggling on those like high wall hits a bit. Either make or find a training pack with hits like that that you can practice, because I think that could be a big improvement for your game. Because even if like you don't score off of them, and even if you you, you know you want to make contact, even if it's not the best contact, if like the training packs don't work 100%, just making contact in those situations will really change the game because it'll put the ball down field where they can't. Get a scoring opportunity as much. That's a bit ambitious, but I understand that you're probably worried someone was going to be there. Oh, that's unlucky. That's like when you land, like, you know, your lanes took you the other direction. But that was a decent beat over that guy. And on that one, this kind of gives him possession because he didn't commit to that. And he kind of just rolled up the wall for him. But, um. <laughs> that was nice. There wasn't much you could do. That was hard, a hard shot to get on. That was a very good save there too if you can get that touch. Um, this flip, there's no real urgency. You saw he was stranded. You didn't need to flip in like that. You could have drove, driven, driven, driven up the wall to get a better touch on that. All right. Um, after you. I don't know if that boost was there or not, because it was there the first time. But right there, after you miss, you could have backflipped to land on that boost to get back in the play quicker. Right here, even though you don't have boost, you should be flipping. It'll give you that extra bit of speed to get back in the play. Like that right there, that was just like a really slow sequence. Like right here, you're not using any boost, you're not flipping. It would, like, you know, just to get in the play a bit quicker, back in position from when you were... That was decent. I, I think he was trying to fake you or dummy you or something, so... That was decent, but you got there right before the funky man. That was good. You could have gone with this, right? Let's see if I can slow this down. All right, right here on this bounce, you take away, but I mean, like you don't have much boost here, but you basically give him a free hit. Um, this is kind of boost over ball thing, right? 
If you went with this, let's see, right here, keep driving with it, just drive straight, and you'll hit it on its next bounce and take it up the wall. And so you can either take a 50-50 or maybe beat him into mid. And then um, when you shouldn't be going up the wall here because he's there way before you. You realize that you know you go back down pretty quick, but if you did, if you didn't go for the up the wall there, you would have been back a little quicker. This is just a slight miss hit. If you come up like you kind of hit this with the roof of your car. If you come up and bang this with your nose, this is going to be a decent shot. I love that goal, that was so satisfying. Oh wait, no, I forgot I didn't score. I was, I thought it was gonna go in and I was gonna be super ecstatic about it. Boom, nice. That was nice. You turn around on that really nice too. Like right here, you saw that guy Funky Man just went flying and you see Shove Hub's nowhere near and you turn around and that's really good. That's dangerous to go for the big boost here, because you see I kind of misplayed it, and then that, um, what are, hold on, yeah, that guy, Funky Man, is pretty near, um, and Shrub Hub is coming too, and when you do that, um, you, you go out of ball cam here, and you go to get the big boost, but he has a hit there, and if he came around a bit tight on it, he might have put it on target, so that, I don't know, giving that big boost, wasn't necessary because staying in the small boost lane, you still would have gotten a good amount of boost by the time you got back for a goal if you put it on target. And going for the big boosts makes you travel a further distance, so you'd have been back quicker if you took a small boost lane. That was a decent save, like you stopped it from going in, but you kind of just popped it right in front of our box. Um, like you could have gotten, if you, as you were aerialing, if you moved your car to the right somewhere, like your nose of the car, you could have flipped that with your nose to put it to safety on the left side, but thankfully neither of them are able to turn on it. Oh, this is the goal. I remember that, that was so funny. <gasps> what, that one didn't go either? I thought that one went in. Maybe I scored a different one like that. Either way, I was so close to scoring those two funny goals this game. Anyways, I was not in the zone. You're cutting near post here, which puts you in a difficult position, because it's hard for you to rotate onto the ball after it bounces out. Like, you shouldn't... I think you should be going far post again, like... Well, right now it'd be your near post, but swooping in like a... Let me get this out of here. Like, right here. You cut in so close to that. If you're coming in like this and coming around and then swooped in wide like that, by the time this comes off the wall, you don't have to make quite as tight of a turn. And you could probably read it quicker since you'd be coming at an easier angle. Yeah, I think far post rotations are pretty important. Oh, he bumped me into that, so I was like, how did I get that flip off? Yeah, that's right. Um, this is a bad hit again. If you took a second further to, to come around it and then cut in, you'd be able to put it high or maybe on goal or anything. But instead you kind of put it in the corner, give it right to him. Yeah, it was just a scrappy goal. <laughs>
nice kick off. Good boost steal. Now you know that guy's not gonna be in the play for a while. Um, I'd like you to stay. I'd like you to see you stay like right here. But instead, you cut midfield. Even though that guy's, you know, got a good hit for the corner. So like, if you sit where you were, I don't know. It was. It worked out either way, but. That was a bit of a awkward play here, a bit of a double kind of like we're way too close for each other. You could um you probably should have been going back to mid here. Cause if I don't have this play, since I was there before you, if they save that, we're both stranded. So And if you come back in midfield, if they couldn't get a good save, you could have gotten the follow-up. Almost, that would have been a good read, but I'm just a bit wide. These are always awkward, right? Like if you, if you don't have the read there, it's probably safer to go in goal and try to get the save. But because he he's gonna get up before you, so you're not gonna have a chance to save it unless you are on the goal line. Hmm. Right here. This is another really small thing, like it's not game changing, but it will add up. Right there you land on the side of your wheel, but you could have easily arrowed just a little bit to land on your wheels. Nice beat. Even if your touch there didn't go like crazy center or anything, when Funky Man sees that you're up already, or shove, yeah, Funky Man, he sees you're up and he backs off. So that, that's a good way, you were up nice and early that um, kept them from being able to challenge the ball. Right here, you'd be, you should be flipping into a boost lane or something at some point. Getting some boost instead of trying to slowly crawl your way up to the mid boost. Yeah, I think. I don't know. I, it seemed like. I don't know. Maybe in just the game it seemed different, but I thought he had a pretty hit on that and so if that was me like right here I'd be start like you know drifting taking a sharp turn backwards like a fake challenge like right now to start turning because he has a decent hit nice half up there that was a good recovery thing this is a really awkward position you're in um, Okay, right here, right, you missed the read. You see, I have it. Head to goal, there's no reason for you to be where you are. If a shot's on target, like, I'm there to challenge him, and you should be in goal to, you know, save any shot. And so, you can't see him coming, but if you're in goal, you could, and so, there's no way he's getting a shot on this. If you were in goal, um, you could get his. Right now, you'd be able to charge out a goal and get that easy clear. Alright, you see I'm on right side, so I have any play that comes over there. And you see Shrub Hub, as he's coming along here, he's going you know, over his goal, so if you turn right now, you'll be able to get to the ball a lot faster. Because, um, you know what, he's, he's probably not going to miss his that Diamond 3 level. And that'd be a pretty easy, um, like you still got there first, but you'd be able to get there much quicker if you were a few feet over towards the left side of the field. Alright, um, two good games. Uh, one was really close and one we got the win in. Um, yeah, obviously there were some plays I know you would normally hit, it was just a bit of the rust, but hopefully I could give you some help. Um, three things I would say to work on. Um, aerial car control. Um, and, and you know, it's not like, even if you don't get like the super fast double taps, not double taps, um, fat, like double tap aerial things, uh, fast aerials, double jump aerials, that's the word I'm looking for. If you don't get those down, uh, work on quality of the hit you get because sometimes it seems like the hit you get doesn't really do too much with the ball like it may I don't know kind of like you know sometimes when you bang it off the wall and it goes in the middle or, get, or something just work on um, placing your ales even if you're not even if they're not the fastest shots or anything um, another thing um, the high ceiling shots or, or not ceiling shots but even the high wall shots and stuff 
and um, the far post rotations. I think those are some important things to work on for you. Thanks for watching.